Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Now I'm totally excited about today's video because I will be doing a total YouTube classic and you know I've been waiting for so long to do one of these and it's gonna be uh, the what's in my bag uh, video and yes as I said you probably have seen a million of these but I hope we're gonna have a little bit of fun all together and you're gonna see something new and if you're interested in this type of video then keep on watching. All right, now let's jump into it. First, I'm gonna show you the bag. Now, my bag is a very small and compact um, clutch-like bag. It's faux leather. And um, when you open it, it does have two little magnets here on, two little magnets here on the sides. And um, once you open it, it does have three compartments here. Um, now, this bag seems to be very little, but believe me, you can fit in everything that you need in it. So, it does have on the inside three compartments, and then on the outside here in the back, it does have a separate compartment where I keep my phone. I will show you that in a second. So, as I said, it is faux leather. It cost, I can't even remember, it was a sale, and I think I paid 35 euros. It, it, it was probably 50 as, of, as far as I can remember, but I think this one is discontinued already because Mango keeps coming out with uh, a lot of new stuff each season. So you probably won't find this, this exactly bag in the store anymore, but I still love it. And hopefully it inspires you to buy something similar uh, if you're into tiny little and compact bags like I am. You can wear a cross bag or you can wear it just on your shoulder like this. Now I get a bad shoulder, that's the reason why I wear just very, very tiny compact um, clutch-like uh, bags. So that's the reason. I used to wear very big bags and I used to have half of my life in those bags. But a couple of years ago my shoulder actually got pretty bad so my joint um, was hurting and I had to go through physiotherapy and blah blah blah. So ever since then small bags uh, only for me. Okay, I'm all excited now to show you what is inside uh, my bag because you'd be, you'd be actually astounded uh, how much I can fit into my bag. Now, the first thing uh, that uh, is right on top are my prescription glasses. I got these in 2017, so I'm kind of like new to wearing glasses, but I think I picked a quite an elegant pair of glasses. Look at that. And you'll see me wearing that in some of my videos, but yeah, I keep carrying those around because I'm supposed to wear them uh, when driving my car and while watching TV. So yes, these are always in my bag. Now, what else do I have here? I got my keys. So these are my keys for my apartment and for the mailbox and so on and so on. So every, everybody has got a pair of keys. Uh, what else do I have here? Now, oh yeah chapstick can't go without chapstick uh, so that's very important and next to the chapstick most important of all my Bobbi Brown lipstick in the shade let me see uh, blush 65 now this one unfortunately look at this totally empty got a teeny tiny bit in it and I will use it up every tiny bit of it because this is actually the perfect nude for my uh, complexion and um, I know it's quite pricey and I don't actually uh, spend or splurge that often on, on luxury makeup, but this one is a must-have for me. And so if you do have a similar complexion, you might want to check out this one here. Beautiful, beautiful lipstick. And I always keep care I carry it around all the time. Uh, so that's my lipstick. And so the next uh, thing uh, will be my nail polish. So I always carry around, uh, whichever nail polish I do have on my nails, I will carry around the bottle. Uh, and I know for some of you this might sound, I don't know, stupid or unnecessary, but I do have a thing with nails going on, so I can't stand uh, chipped nails. And what I really can't do is I can't go to a salon and have a manicure like everybody else does, you know, like with shellac or um, what's the other one, or, or regular gel nails because I'm allergic to these materials. So I always carry around um the uh, nail polish that I'm wearing at that very moment in order to be able you know to to redo my nails or you know just give it a second a quick second coat you know if I see okay a tip is chipped you know and and I need to take care of it so yes I always carry around nail polish so that's that's a must-have for me what else oh and then I got this little uh, pocket mirror now it does have two mirrors a regular one and a magnifying one and this pocket mirror actually um, 
my sister gave to me a couple of years, many, many years ago, actually. And it does look, uh, actually, you, it looks well used uh, and pretty old. Uh, and I've been carrying it around for so many years, but I love it dearly. And I just can't, um, I can't let go of this one. Although I do have new uh, pocket mirrors, but I just kind of refuse to, to, to exchange this one because, I don't know. Yeah, it's golden. It's golden, golden ox. So yeah, love this one. So it's always in my bag. Always. What else do I have in here? Okay, the next thing is now. The next thing is my, my emergency kit, uh, and I put this one together. This one used to contain a powder pad, and I used the powder pad and this little container. Actually, it came in quite handy. Now I have. A trillion allergies I'm allergic to certain types of foods uh, I do have a gluten sensitivity unfortunately and um, I am sensitive to histamine which is quite unpleasant because I love food I'm a real foodie and when you're restricted to eating to not eating a certain foods you know that kind of makes uh, things very complicated uh, at least in my life and so I do have to carry around a little emergency kit uh, this one contains I can show you this one contains antihistamine, so this is a lifesaver for me. I do have to carry it around all the time. I always do have, um, uh, what is it? This is a parking meter. This is actually for headache because sometimes the allergy would be so bad that antihistamine will actually suppress uh, the symptoms so the itching won't be that bad, but then the headache would kick in. And so unfortunately, I do have to carry on this. And I don't know, over time, I, I used to... Uh, I started, you know, putting stuff in this emergency kit that actually is not is not really meant for necessary for a necessary kit. So I do have a little pocket file for my nails because I have a nail thing going on, as I said. So yeah, so I do have a little pocket file, you know, that you can actually uh, fold. And then what else do I have in here? Oh yeah, and I do have. Um, and please don't laugh at me. Oh, please don't judge me actually you can laugh as much as you want but please don't judge me uh, these are cotton buds I always carry around two fresh cotton buds and so before you judge me let me explain now as I said I have like a trillion allergies I'm sensitive to all kinds of stuff unfortunately I'm even allergic to gel nails and shellac so um, I can't have a manicure like a regular person so and as I said I'm allergic to so many um, things so I always carry around cotton buds because anyone who has allergies knows how painful, and I repeat how painful, uh, the itching inside the ear can be. And I know this is a bad thing to do. It is a bad thing for you to take a cotton bud and stick it in your ear. I know that, but believe me, uh, if you have allergies, you probably understand. And this is for me, you know, using a cotton bud you know to scratch my ear on the inside that is kind of like the last step before going crazy you know when your ears start itching on the inside and especially with my allergies um, I get all sorts of symptoms but when the symptoms kick in it usually starts with uh, a, a painful uh, itch inside of my ears and then down my throat which is really unpleasant and awful to be honest uh, so yes I carry around cotton buds and I oh I carry them, you know, no matter what. So this is my little emergency kit and this always has to be with me no matter where I go. So I'd go, I don't know, I'd even leave my house without a cell phone, but I'd never leave it without the emergency kit, without antihistamine and without, um, you know, some type of medicine, you know, uh, for my headache or uh, cotton buds. So that is a must, an absolute must. And as I said, please don't judge me, but anyone who has allergies, they probably understand. And right now nodding their heads. I can see you guys, I have you. So what else do I have in here? Um, yeah, tissues, of course, you know, for, for a person with allergies, you know, you can't go, you can't leave the house without tissues. So tissues everywhere. So that's that. And oh yeah, I always carry around a pen. So that's not, that's essential for me. A pen and a little notebook. Off later, started uh, carrying around a little notebook because um, I am working on some original music that I will be probably putting uh, together, you know, for an album. For an album, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, that's something for the future. But I keep writing lyrics and some poetry in order to be able to use it for my lyrics. And this one actually comes in quite handy, you know. Uh, having a notebook and a pen uh, on hand. Um, what else? Let me see. 
uh, yeah, because I have such a small, tiny little um, bag, I don't, don't have a wallet. I haven't had a wallet now in years. And I pref because I prefer card holders. Now this one is by Fossil. I bought it on Fifth Avenue in New York. Um, and yeah, it's just a regular card holder. Uh, mine is actually, well, let me show you. It's by Fossil, I love this brand. Mine is actually, you see, it does have, um, on the outside it is, oh, let me just put down the cards. On the outside it is uh, brown and then black, and on the inside here, it is pink. And I just love this color combination. I just had to have it, and it, it cost, I don't know, like $30, so it, it wasn't that expensive. And I carry around like just the necessary cards. I don't carry around too much. So I just have my driver's license. I have um, my card for public transportation. I do have my healthcare card and I do have my bank card. And that's that. And I usually carry around um, uh, five euros maximum because I was mugged once and never in my life will I carry cash, uh, carry cash around anymore so five years is the maximum that you will see me carrying around cash and because I don't have a wallet I need um, I need a little container for my change and so my sister actually bought me this one here this is a little plastic container for change and it is so handy because usually so in order to open it you will have to squash it like this and usually it stays closed you know so change won't fall out and that that is quite a yeah a practical uh, handy little uh, device or thing you don't say device right okay and then I carry around a little perfume um, sample now this little sample bottle actually I got initially with another perfume but then I used it a lot and ever since then I keep refilling it with my actual uh, favorite perfume um, so in this this right now is why I sell Manifesto, so I love this classic perfume. And I keep refilling it and carrying around a couple of drops of perfume because you never know, you know, when you might need a little bit of perfume on hand. And yeah, and the last thing is uh, my shopping bag. Now I have a little compact shopping bag. It's in this little extra bag. And so once you pull it out, you have a whole little shopping bag. And this one is actually quite uh, long lasting because I've had this one for a couple of years now and it is small, it is tiny, it is practical and I don't like plastic bags. I don't want to buy plastic bags when I'm in an actual uh, grocery store and usually I use this for groceries, you know, like run. you might be coming from your office and going home and you remember, oh, I need to buy something for dinner or I need another carton of milk or whatever. So this one is quite handy and I always carry it around because usually uh, I will forget to buy something uh, at the grocery store and I will run back and this one comes in handy because I, I never have to think about buying a bag. Um, yeah, so that's that and then Last but not least, uh, as I said, that's the back side of my um, bag, is my, um, my cell phone. Never leave house without this guy. So that's my cell phone and that's that. Okay, now that's that uh, for my what's in my bag video. I hope you enjoyed this video because I really enjoyed making it for you. Now, I hope you find some inspiration because wearing a tiny little bag thank God, you know, has become a trend. Now, when I started wearing cross bags uh, because of my bad shoulder, because I hurt my shoulder a couple of years ago, uh, and I had to actually switch to smaller bags or bags that would weigh less than my huge and bulky ones, uh, I remember seeing just old ladies in the street wearing cross bags. But luckily, you know, uh, I, it has become a trend, you know, wearing cross bags, wearing clutch like tiny bags, you know. So, and I really enjoy that right now because I see a lot of uh, young women and women of all ages wearing cross bags and tiny bags. And it's actually miraculous how much you can fit into those little bags. And I sometimes even catch myself wondering, like, how did I put all this stuff in there? But it actually fits in and it doesn't weigh that much and it doesn't weigh you down, you know, like on one shoulder. Uh, so, yes. I really enjoy tiny bags and I hope you do too and as I said I hope you found some inspiration uh, watching my video and yes so that's that for today and until next time I wish you all a wonderful day evening night uh, wherever you are out there in the world take care and bless you and see you next time bye